Hi everyone, we're here. We've made it to the final episode of Judgment. It's been a long time coming and it also seems like it's too soon to end. We wrapped up everything with Yosuke finally, with Higashi, with Sugiura, and with Hoshino, and we are ready to begin this trial. Hope you guys enjoyed the epic conclusion of Judgment. I'll see you guys at the end of the video for my final thoughts on the game. Thanks for watching. All right, it's time. The finale of the finale. Yeah, I'm good to go. We're good to go. Gotcha. By the way, uh, I just got a call from Hoshino-kun. Sounded gloomy as hell. He mad at Apparently, me. Apparently, he wants you to talk to Genda-sensei over at the office when you get a minute. Oh? He didn't say what about, though. Anyway, I'm just the messenger. Catch you later. Okay. Let's go see Genda. Yo. Hmm? You get called in too? Yep. Just walked in. Is Hoshino-kun not back yet? Not yet, no. Is something the matter? No, not really. Over here, Yagami. Something you wanted to discuss, Genda-sensei? No, not me. Him. Izumita. Prosecutor Izumita. They've got men monitoring every nook and cranny of your agency. Figured it'd be safer to talk here. If Izumita came all the way out to Genda's office just to talk, then that must mean... More bad news? Is that how you treat a guest? And no, it's good news. Guess it can't be all bad. Ichinose will testify at the trial. So, you convinced him, huh? Run into any trouble? No, it went fairly smoothly. So, you want me to explain 89? Yes, at the upcoming trial. And by that you mean the one for the murdered lawyer? That's right. Before his death, that lawyer made a phone call to Dr. Shono. Of course, we have no reason to believe that call had anything to do with the killing. Dr. Shono in 89? Involved in a murder? <laughs> it's quite far-fetched, if you ask me. A preposterous notion. <laughs> Indeed. However, that doesn't change the fact that the call was made. And so we'll need to explain in court just why it can't be related. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> Don't worry. You won't need to say a word about the call itself. Just explain the situation. 89 is a drug of global importance, and Dr. Shono and his team have put immense effort into its development. Once you've explained, I'm sure it'll clear the air. Yes, I see. I'm not sure I can portray it accurately, though. I'm not a scientist, after all. If you would be more comfortable, we could always call Dr. Shono to the stand. But his language may, in fact, be too complicated. I'm not sure our jurors would understand. If possible, I'd prefer it were you up there, Ichinose. Also, Shono had some troubles with his... It would be foolish to take up Dr. Shono's time with such an insignificant matter. Very well, I'll do it. Contact the Ministry of Health when the trial date is decided. Thank you very much. Shono sir. doesn't do well under pressure. Yeah, excuse me? I have another meeting to get to. I don't think Ichinose wants him up on the stand. So, I guess he called. Nice going. Um, you made it sound like if Ichinose didn't testify, Shono would. Yes, that. It worked. Ichinose didn't want to risk Shono getting in there and slipping up. Can't trust anyone to do it but himself. And also, like. Trying to be, play it off like preemptively. The defense is probably going to bring up 89, so we're going to need to like preemptively shut down whatever they're going to try to pull, basically. Good job, Izumita. Good. The boss is on the hook. Now the fight begins. Good work, Izumita. Turns out you can be pretty devious when you want to be. Devious? Really? 
I'm kidding. Really, I can't thank you enough. We'll have Ichinose out in the open thanks to you. Look yeah, these two getting along. All we have to do now is find a way to corner him. What about Hamura from the Matsugane family? Can we ask him to testify? We don't know where he is. Mm, he's still on the run. Guy couldn't even be bothered to come to his patriarch's funeral. Of course not. How could he after what he did? Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we just grab Kuroiwa and get him to confess to being the mole? You do remember the beating he gave you last time, right? I let my guard down, that's all. Cut it out, you two. Come on, guys. We've got Ichinose right where we want him. We just need to figure out what to do next. You're not gonna win empty-handed, you know. It's Mafuyu. What's up? Ayabe's casino is getting raided by the police. Lamont? Oh. Now? Yeah. They just started. Morita is setting the wheels in motion. They've already arrested most of the employees. I get it. Not fish the guy. Character assassination. A crooked cop running an illegal casino. No surprise if he commits a murder, too. The chief prosecutor is hitting us where it hurts. Right. Guess they're not gonna go down without a fight. Just wanted to give you a heads up. So, how's it looking, Yagami-kun? Do you think you can win? I'll do the best I can. The good news is, I have a lot of help. Thanks for the call, Mafuyu. Of course. See ya. Morita's here in Kamurocho, blowing the lid off Ayabe's casino. In that case, I'd better get going. He's not gonna come here. Well, better safe than sorry. Huh. If they're raiding the casino, Kuroi was probably there too. What do you want to do, Tuck? The chief prosecutor's made his move. Probably wouldn't hurt to stop by and say hello. We know all about him now. You sure this is a good idea? He's not the kind of guy you mess around with. Don't worry. We just want to check in. Let's roll, talk. Head to Lamont. Okay. I guess I'm a little bit, like, maybe you guys can help me understand again like you did before. But I suppose either because it would be too suspicious, perhaps, or if, um, if he just feels like he is unstoppable, completely unstoppable. But when Yagami, like, told Kuroiwe that he knew he was the mole, and when they had um, Kido, and he was there with Higashi and, oh shit, let me pause, um, and Kaito and beat them up. Like, why doesn't he just kill these people that are, like, onto his case? He's never been shy of killing people that get in his way before. So why not just take him out? Especially when he had such an opportunity to do so. It's one of the things that's been bugging me. Like, why does he let Yagami just run around? Any theories on that? Any non-spoiler theories? He's the living smug. Yeah, that's pretty much what I was thinking. Like, he just thinks that they are, like, so beneath him. And they can't, like, they have no chance of finding any evidence. And maybe he's getting even a kick out of seeing them try. We wouldn't have this video game if he killed the protagonist. <laughs> okay, but when you say it like that, Chompasaur, it's like... Then it becomes a plot hole. So I'm trying to, like, fill in the hole. <laughs> He's always one step ahead, so he probably thought he can keep it going. You've thought that, too, the game does a lot to make Yagami seem very inco inconsequential and poor, and therefore killing him would have no backlash. Could be that he has a bunch of lawyer friends. Hmm, okay, maybe. Anyways, that's just one of the things that's been kind of, like, gnawing at the back of my mind, because when... Um, when Yagami first was like, I know you're the mole, I'm like, why are you telling him? He's gonna kill you right fucking here, you know? I don't know. He likes the cat and mouse game and feels overconfident. 
Yeah, that's that's what I'm going to be going with. Maybe he gets off on it. Yeah, he does seem like the kind of person that would, especially when you look at his face, when he's just like, when he knows who he is and he, and he knows that you know, and he's just like, you can't do a goddamn thing about it, Yagami. Anyways, let's continue. Oh man, they got the owner. I'm Ayabe's lawyer. Let me through. Sorry, no lawyers allowed yet. Well done, but let him pass. I'll vouch for him personally. How Should nice of you. Him? Thanks. How generous of you, jackass. Were you aware there was an underground casino hidden down here, Yagami-san? Wow, I had no idea. <laughs> Our friend Ayabe was really something, wasn't he? Who would have thought he'd take bribes from an illicit underground casino? Not to mention selling confidential police intel to the criminal underbelly of this town. What do you call me? Shintane-sensei surely stumbled upon Ayabe's secret. And so Ayabe killed him to make sure the truth stayed hidden. Quickly, with a police-issued handgun. I see. That's the story the prosecution is telling, huh? We can speak further once we get inside. I've learned a lot about you, Chief Prosecutor. About the tragedy in your family ten years ago. Then someone has betrayed me? Someone you betrayed. Someone who trusted you for years. I have to say, it was strange seeing how you behaved in Shono's lab. A public prosecutor, the so-called Defenders of Justice, chose to protect 89 over the sanctity of the law. I think it's time you drop the act. My mother, she was afflicted with early onset Alzheimer's. The disease progressed quickly. I read all about it. So this is Morita's family. Not long after she started showing symptoms, she couldn't even recognize my face. Whenever I went to visit her, I was greeted with, nice to meet you, as if she didn't know who I was. Occasionally she'd yell at me, accuse me of being a thief or a murderer. Watching my mother's mind deteriorate, well, it nearly broke me. Understandable. And yet my brother continued caring for her. He was there when I couldn't be, all by himself. When we were young, he and I had both dreamt of becoming lawyers. He devoted himself to his studies far better than I ever did. Practically worked himself to the bone. But he sacrificed all Yet, that to ultimately, help ultimately, he never managed to pass the bar. Or that. I can only imagine how he felt when I passed on my first attempt. And yet, he was happy for me. Almost as if my success was his. He was truly... A good man. His confidence is wavering. This left a lot of scars. Please, go on. When we learned that my mother had Alzheimer's, my brother was devastated by the news. He took it hard. I, on the other hand, was filled with internal conflict. I was torn between caring for my ailing mother and continuing my burgeoning career as a lawyer. <gasps> but my brother could sense how I felt. And then he said to me, Don't worry. 
Leave mom to me. Your success is all that matters. As long as you make it, my dream comes true too. And so, he continued caring for our mother for seven long years, 24 hours a day. A woman who couldn't even recognize him as her own son. Whereas I ran further and further away. But somewhere, deep down in my heart, I knew it couldn't continue that way. That someday, he would break. And the regret you feel, that failure, is what led you to 89. When was it? After Shintani sends his murder. Not long after, Vice Minister Ichinose summoned me personally to fill me in on the details. He did? But why? Ichinose-san predicted that the prosecutor's office would discover the dark truth about 89 before long. And upon looking into some family histories, he discovered what happened to my mother. When he realized the extent of it, he knew I would be sympathetic to their cause. His proposal was quite clear. 89 was a groundbreaking new drug, meant to save countless suffering patients and families. But if it was to see the light of day, I would have to look the other way for a while. And that's how someone with the best intentions gets led astray. Ooh, I mean... Not to agree with it, but I can definitely see how this all happened and how he would be tempted to look the other way. Prosecutor Morita, have you heard this saying before? Hmm? Fire tempers iron, and temptation steals the just. If someone told you they knew how to make mankind immortal at the sacrifice of a few, you would have looked the other way no matter how many people had to die. I do feel guilt. I can't deny that. That's the only reason I'm still here. Shono has killed people to cover this up. Emi Terasawa died for it. What about her? Did she deserve that? Meanwhile, Shinpei Okuba was falsely convicted and sentenced to death. He we wakes can... up every day not knowing if it's his last. We can still save him. What did he do to deserve that? Come on. There's Your still people we can save. Act. Do you even realize what it is you're doing? That's enough. How do you think your brother would feel if he saw what you were doing now? Huh? Tell me, Morita! Shut up! Just... Shut up! If you want me to shut up, you're gonna have to kill me. Morita, Okobo-kun and Ayabe are depending on me. Emi Terasawa deserves justice, too. And I'm not stopping until I get it! Oh no. Not this hey, guy. Doc. Kuroi was here. I believe that's enough, Morita-san. Can I just say, I absolutely love Kuroiwa. He sends shivers down my spine. Ugh. It, like, he just plays the villain role so well. He's probably, gosh, he could be my favorite villain. In the, I mean, I'd really have to think about it, but he's definitely up there with one of my favorite villains in this series, meaning Yakuza and Slash Judgment. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to say that. <laughs> Long time no see. Seems you're already back in action. <laughs> Guess I went too easy. You little... So, another two versus one fight? Is Yagami joining us? What are you doing here? I suggest you turn a blind eye to this. 
You're good at that, aren't you? You little... Oh my god. Disgusting. Scared little man. Stay out of this? Like hell I will. You already had your turn. Kuroiwa killed Matsugane-san. And well, it's about time I pay him back for what he did. <sighs> Touching words, Yagami-san. But now is the time for action. And don't worry. I won't arrest you for obstruction on this. Don't talk to me about arrests. You're not even a cop. You're a goddamn assassin! Are we- Oh god, we're fighting him right now? <laughs> no! A one on one. No! <laughs> That's a blue health bar. How many health bars are under there? Oh, God. Okay, he's fast. He's very fast. Fast boy. Ass boy. He doesn't. <laughs> Did he do a wall kick? That's 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 my thing. He, I couldn't really see, but he better not have done a fucking wall kick because that's my thing. Okay, that nobody else can have that. That's my thing. Well, you know what? I have the tiger drop, and my wall kick is better than ow. Asshole. Fine, I'm fine. Yes. We can do this. He is enjoying this. Oh, no. The ice pick. No, you don't. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we have here. How about a rejuvenation extract? And a healthy, balanced bento. is super intense too right now. <laughs> oh, this looks so cool. Oh god! <laughs> oh, we 
almost got him. We almost got him. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I saw that one coming. Trying to use my own move against me? I don't think so. So cool. <laughs> He's so evil. You little I'm done with this. Huh. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Oh no, this guy's Calm gonna die. Down. How would you even cover this up? There are limits to how much protection I can offer you. Ooh. Ooh, okay. <sighs> you have no reason to be here. There's more where that came from, Kuroiwa. Let's go. That was intense. What are you doing here, Kengo? Now, shut your trap, asshole! What station are you from? Think you're tough shit, huh? What's going on in there? What are they doing? Yeah, what are they doing? Those guys are Matsugani family, aren't they? Yeah, he got uh, he got she's with them. <laughs> Damn right. They're probably worried about you or oh, something. Oh, Kaito's healed. Afraid the 89 boys would come try to erase you. you Was know? he before? What? Hey, there he is. Come on, we're out of here. Did they come to back us up in case we needed help? Oh, hi, Hoshino. Hoshino kun. Yagami san, when I heard you were here with Morita and Kuroiwa, I, um. I get it. You're the one who called Higashi over, aren't you? That's right. If I hadn't, who knows what dirty tricks they would have used. I couldn't take that risk. <laughs> I appreciate that, Hoshino. And... and... I'm really sorry for what happened in Kido's office. I don't think you would need to apologize. I was out of line. You deserve trust. And I didn't give it. Yagami-san, I messed up. What I did was unacceptable. Threatening a witness is just... It's not how I want to go about winning this case, Yagami-san. Got one thing to say, Hoshino. What? Iron burns temptation, while the just are often tested by fire. Huh? <laughs> I don't think... <laughs> it's not how it goes, is it?
Wait. Get back here! Stop. What's going on? Jeez, I thought we could breathe for a second. Oh god, why are we why are we following him to like a place where there are no witnesses? This is exactly what he wants us to do. And then he's just gonna fucking shoot you in the face. Hey, what the hell was that? Did he really get changed that fast? Is it round two? Like what's going on? He's got a black raincoat. Who are you? That's not... What the... It's not Kuroiwa. Why a loading screen? One month later? What do you... <sighs> Okay. Tori wrote this, huh? Yep. Said he tried to get it out just in time for today's trial. Illegal human experiments discovered in Kamarucho. Dementia drug AD9, the focus. These pictures. I took them when we broke into Shono's lab. <laughs> Nice work. Guess it's almost time. See, now Yagami has some... I bet he has some trick up his sleeve that we are not privy to because of... That mysterious figure in the raincoat and the time skip. He's gonna bust some crazy shit out and. Ugh. Put the badge back on. Put it back on. Oh, yeah, sorry. It said morning of the trial. I was probably blocking it with my dome. This is so intense. Ugh. I can't contain my emotions. <laughs> It's like, I need to go, like, punch something. That was, like, a very intense moment. It kind of reminded me of the same feelings that I got when we first played uh, Yakuza 4. And all of our boys were out in their suits and walking towards the Millennium Tower. And, uh... I was getting those kind of same vibes, even though it's very different. It's it's kind of a very different. Everything's different. But I was still getting that like excitement, like this is what it's all coming down to. These are all the allies we made along the way. Everything's going to come together, we hope. Even people that like we we didn't get um, along with at the beginning are Helping us out, Hattori, and... Uh, this is intense. Okay. It's time. Give him hell in there. I will. Matsugane-san deserves justice. Yep. Are they gonna set Okubo free if you win this trial? It's not guaranteed. But if not today, I'll make it happen eventually. Even if it costs me my life. Damn. Yeesh. Don't think I'm ever gonna get used to seeing you in a suit. <laughs> That's all you have to say to me? This is kind of a big deal, remember? <laughs> He's like, yep, that's all. <laughs> Good luck today, Yagami-san. I'll be taking notes. I don't know. This trial might not be the most textbook case. <laughs> That's exactly why it'll be an educational experience. Good point, sir. Good point. Head over to court. Yes! Are you guys ready? Defendant, please state your name and date of birth for the record. Kazuya Ayabe. 
Born on July 2nd, 1983. <laughs> this guy's damn bug eyes. And where are you currently residing? In jail. This is the first trial for the murder of Masamichi Shintani. The defendant, a crooked cop by the name of Kazuya Ayabe. The bullet found in Shintani's body bore the rifling marks from Ayabe's gun. That's the most significant piece of evidence they have against him. But that was all a cover-up perpetrated by the mole, Kuroiwa. Ayabe is innocent. In other words, this trial is little more than a farce. At least, until this very moment. The prosecution moves to call a witness to the stand. Someone who can deny this case's link to the ADDC. The Vice Minister of the Ministry of Health, Kaoru Ichinose. The ADDC bears most of the responsibilities carried out by the Medical Institute. Most notably, the development of AD9, which was announced to the world last year. Director Kido has done a fine job overseeing its evolution into a matter of national import. Kaido stands out so much in exactly the crowd. 89 is? It's a revolutionary drug meant to be a complete cure for Alzheimer's disease. Given how pressing the drastic increase in dementia patients is, we've placed great faith and hope into AD9. Thank you. I have no further questions. Members of the jury, despite the defense's claims that the ADDC is somehow related to this case, the prosecution holds that it is an absurdity to link such a reputable institution to the horrible murder that took place not long ago. That is all. You may begin the cross-examination, counsel. Here we go. You're the vice minister of the Ministry of Health, correct? Pretty high rank. That is what the title implies, yes. You must have really stood out to attain that position. Maybe you did something extra special that got you noticed? I'm not sure how this is relevant to the case at hand. Oh, come now. Why not indulge him? What? Think back to 2002, <laughs> the year the Medical Institute was founded. I hear you spearheaded that whole operation. As a result, many new organizations came into being, the ADDC included. Naturally, many Ministry of Health officials welcomed this move because... Oh god, I have to... I have to do things? <clears throat> well, they kept... They kept mentioning retirement. You made numerous new positions for senior executives to retire into. Thanks to you, they'd have a stable income well into old age. Is this really the place to be discussing such accusations? This center, that lab, who cares what hospital? Consultancy positions sprung up for those facilities left and right. And who better to fill them than former Ministry of Health execs? They'd never have to worry about finding employment again. It was a crafty move, Ichinose-san. One I'm sure the Ministry leadership loved you for. I can see why you ended up Vice Minister. However, the good times didn't last forever. In the months and years after its founding, people slowly caught on to the Medical Institute's total lack of output. And with the country in a recession, they started zeroing in on the Institute's funding. The vast amounts of money being poured into supporting it seemed like nothing more than a waste. Before long, closing the Institute outright didn't seem out of the question. Plans were even set in motion to redevelop the land once it was gone. Rumor had it that Minister Kasumi had actually approved those plans internally. Hmm. Are all your arguments going to be based on hearsay? Speaking of hearsay, Kamurocho's been buzzing with talk of this murderer who gouges people's eyes out. 
That killer is an assassin I've termed the Mole. But the truth of it is, those murders are the result of human experiments for 89, carried out in a secret lab in the heart of the city. This is all purely gossip. Members of the jury, 89's development is about to enter the clinical trial phase. However, ADDC researchers have already carried out clinical trials behind closed doors. Several people have died as a result. What? Of course, they tried to keep that a secret, but it eventually found its way out. And I have the evidence to prove it. We do? The ADD's secrets were leaked to an outsider. What evidence shows that? Okay, the ADD's secrets were leaked to an outsider. Are, the, are we talking about Hamura? ADD's secret leaked, and this is what proves it. Okay. Um, that's Shintani's bullet wound. That's Shintani's poor face. That's the bullet rifling with, on uh, for Ayabe's gun. Shintani's phone log, and the research paper. I guess the phone log would probably be the most relevant here. Everyone Shintani contacted by phone on the day he was murdered can be found by searching his call history. It has been revealed that his final call was made to a member of the ADDC. Yes, this is what we need. Shintani knew something about the secret. I hope that's right. I don't know. Take a look at this. Yeah. <sighs> The victim in this case, Shintani-sensei, was inching ever closer to the truth. That's why he called the ADDC. Isn't that right, Ichinose-san? Please elaborate to the jury what exactly you mean by that. Not long before his death, Shintani-sensei was told the secret by Captain Hamura of the Matsugane family. A secret that led him right to the ADDC. The secret Shintani heard from Hamura was... <sighs> Shono's connection? Did we ever learn exactly what Shintani knew? I don't think... Shit, was I not paying attention when I should have been? Hamura told us? Ugh. I don't remember this. Well, I think I can rule out the Matsugane family's assassination. Wait. Well, we learned about... the assassination business when we were talking to Hamura. Hamura. So... I think he was probably relaying to us what he told Shintani? Because I don't remember specifically him saying this is what I told Shintani. Ugh! This is tough, because I, I know we've talked about all this stuff, but I can't remember specifically what Hamura said to Sh he said to Shintani. Hamura said, look into Shono. I think I do remember something like that. Okay, so maybe then Shono's connection, because he did call Shono. So, I think that would make sense. This secret was that someone from the ADDC was connected to the serial murders taking place in Kamurocho. And so, Shintani-sensei called the center and asked specifically for a researcher named Shono. The man spearheading the 89 human experiments. Enough of this nonsense! Human experimentation! Don't be ridiculous! What kind of trial is being run here? How can he say whatever he wants without a single piece of evidence? Why doesn't the prosecution stop him? Sorry. <laughs> I was enjoying hearing what he had to say. 
Have you lost your mind? Ichinose-san, I'm not finished with my line of questioning. <laughs> this Excuse is good. Me? Actually, it's more of a confirmation than a question. <sighs> Time to go for the kill. Wait, so as long as the opposing party doesn't like try to say like objection or whatever then the defense or the prosecution can just continue on with whatever they want to ask and whatever like the judge never gets involved saying like you know in theory the judge can stop it okay well maybe the judge is uh maybe the judge is also interested in hearing this <laughs> okay so it's 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 unlikely that the judge will step in, but it is possible. Okay. Time to go for the kill. Do you know who Shinpei Okubo is? Yes. He's the murderer you set free three years ago. I set him free, yes. But he's not a murderer. The one who actually killed Wakusan and Emi Terasawa was the same Shono I mentioned earlier. This garbage again? Don't act like you don't already know all of this. You're just not coming clean. But where Even is the proof? Even though Okubo-kun's sitting on death row, waiting for the day they decide it's his turn. Enough! I was only asked here to explain to the jury about AD-9 and the ADDC. How dare you treat me like this? You and Shono hired the mole to murder for you! That was the only way you'd have patience for your underground human experiments. And all to protect the interests of 89. You can't make these claims without proof. Show me your evidence. If you say so. What? Just the other day, someone reached out to me over in Kamurocho. They wanted to entrust me with a crucial piece of information. Hmm? Was it... Was it Hamura, maybe? I don't know. Who is it? Who are you? <sighs> what the? Oh, yeah, okay. Captain Hamura? The hell are you doing here? Sorry sight, wasn't it? Huh? Matsugane's funeral. They had to go and use HQ's gigantic hall. Made it look like barely anyone even bothered to show up. Wish I could have gone and lit some incense. But if I did, Kuroiwa would have taken me out. Yeah? Then what are you doing here? Talk, you found Shono's lab, right? Good job. Those bastards never wanted to tell me where it was. Didn't think you could do it. Maybe. But Ichinose is covering the whole damn thing up. <laughs> Out of options, huh? I thought giving up wasn't your style. Here's the deal. I got something for you. What? Gotta settle accounts. What accounts? Never mind. But holding on to this does nothing for me. So, I want to help you out here. Just this once. For the boss, give him justice. If there was any justice, I'd have gotten shot. But the boss paid the price instead. Fucked up, yeah? None of this was his fault. I already lost my chance. You, on the other hand, still may have one. Hamura. This is it. You're the boss's only shot now. Put an end to this. Once and for all. I'm sure whatever this is... It would be implicating himself. Like, if, if everyone goes down, he's going down too. 
but he's willing I to sacrifice you like what you find on here. himself. This is decisive evidence. It'll nail Ichinose. We got our evidence from Hamura of all people. Your Honor, I offer the data I received into evidence. So, Hamura and Ichinose's missing link. The audio phone data between Vice Minister Kaoru Ichinose and Captain Hamura of the Matsugane family. Take a listen to this. Did you tell someone about Shono? That lawyer, Shintani. Word has it, he just called the ADDC. Well, uh... Yeah, I might have said something, but it's fine. Shintani will keep quiet if I tell him to. How can you be so naive? This is unacceptable. You must deal with this Hamura-san immediately. Do what needs to be done. Have Kuroiwa-san handle the dirty details. Ooh, Kuroiwa's name is brought out too? Another 100 mil. This mistake was yours and yours alone. Don't anger me further. This Kuroiwa-san is a Kamuro PD detective. But when he's not out on his beat, he works as the mole, an assassin for hire. In this call, you used Hamura to order Kuroiwa to murder Shintani-sensei. Hmm. <laughs> you should have known better, Ichinose-san. I imagine you must have been pretty panicked to use such an insecure method. Audio means nothing. Forging it is a simple task. You're framing me. So, you think that's not enough? That's right. We have more? Then what if I had a material witness who could attest to its validity? I'd say, bring them. Perfect. Just a minute. <laughs> Shit. Not who you expected? <clears throat> Witness. Who is speaking in this recording? I'm one of them. The other is Vice Minister Ichinose here. Without a doubt. Damn. Yes. Order damn. in the court. Shumida. God damn. Is the chief prosecutor. Is he aware of this farce? About that, sir. The chief prosecutor won't be joining us in court today. Or ever again. What? Hmm? It turns out he's been abetting crimes for some time now. And so, we're charging him with abuse of power. Kido's up next, right after my testimony. What? <laughs> the doctor sides with whoever he thinks will win. And look at that. Guess he thinks you're on the losing side. Listen here. You pushed countless people down on your way to the top. Now it's your turn to fall, Ichinose. Shit! <clears throat> what? What are you doing? Oh god. Kaito-san! Already going! What the hell was that about? Where's he going? Hoshinoku, it's all on you now. What? <laughs> You've always wanted to handle a case on your own, right? Huh? Not this one. Sorry Not right now. On you, but good luck. Please, don't go! I know you can do it, hoshinoku -kun. It's time you graduate from the sidekick role, you know? <laughs> that little wink. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so... Are you ready to proceed? Um, uh, breathe, breathe, Hoshino. You got this. You can do it. <laughs> All 
our Hoshino's all grown up. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Kaito-san, got this asshole handing out orders over the phone. Probably calling Kuroiwa. <laughs> orders? What did he say? He told his boys to eliminate the mole. They'd eliminate him? Huh? Wait. They're gonna kill Kuroiwa. I thought they were gonna try to go after Kido. What would... What Guess good would end. it do? It's just a tool for them to, you know, dispose of. To get rid of Kuroiwa. We're done for if we let that happen. Yeah. He's gotta be over in Kamurocho. Come on. Sugiro's pulling the car around now. Damn it. Kuroiwa knows a lot. Well... I guess you're right. He does. And I guess they don't... He d they don't trust Gianni, him. He's just I'm a back in hired city. gun. Any idea where Kuroiwa is? Not yet. We're having trouble getting in touch with him. Oh, and... I'm not sure if this is related, but there's been a shooting in Theater Square. What? I... Wonder if Croy was involved somehow. Those didn't look like guns. Though Kuroiwa has a gun. He's probably the one who shot. That's what I'm talking about. Our boys! It's Yagami. Stop! Come on! He's over here! Time to fight, guys. Woo! Look at our boys! I love this these cast guys so don't much. Seem like regular thugs. I just I guess these are ministry boys, huh? If they get in your way, don't hesitate to make them pay for it. Now don't stop till you get to Theater Square. I've been waiting for this. I guess my one complaint with how this finale is going so far... You deaf! He said stop! ...is that I wish... ...that... ...Tsukumo could be involved somehow. I feel like he should be able to take a part in this victory. But I guess that's not the role that they had in mind for his character, which is disappointing. But it's not over yet. I'm just, I'm waiting for my boy to show up because he's the only one who's not like, you know? Sugira almost got smushed like a pancake. Damn it. These guys won't stop coming on us. Uh, I meant at us. <laughs> Dude, that's gross. <laughs> oh, <Anarchy. laughs> anyway, Keep your head the disappointment. The the Let's disappointment in a Higashi's voice. <laughs> Give me all you got. Now you're right. Hey, 
Oh, okay. Hot sauce in the eyes. I didn't even see that until now. It's my first time seeing that one. Nice. We're pulling out all the stops for this finale, aren't we? That's my name. Don't wear it out. I love it when we show up and the thugs are just like, it's Yagami! Like, goddamn right it's Yagami. He has his own little uh, name made for himself. Maybe not as uh, prominent as the dragon of Dojima, but definitely in his little circle. People see him and they're like, Shit, like this this guy we gotta take him out because things are gonna get bad if we don't where are we going where are we going oh shit we're here Okay, I'm gonna guess Kuroiwa got them all. Yep. Now he's gone. This is fucked up. Yeah. How much you wanna bet this is Kuroiwa's doing? 50 yen. Damn, they didn't even get close to him! them before they could kill him and where the bastard run off to <laughs> hey sir you can't just let's all just play nice okay tell me where did Kuroiwa go <laughs> that bastard he's on his way to the ADDC what <laughs> why would he be going there Probably. Gonna kill Shono. Revenge for getting targeted. He's gonna destroy AD9 and ruin every last person who supported it. <laughs> so he's on so our side now. Gonna take each other out, huh? Just kidding. <laughs> Not bad. No. If Shono dies, it's done. The whole case will end up going cold, and then we'll never be able to clear Okubo's name. Huh? Why? So let's go. I mean, don't we have enough evidence with the recording that we... Hey, Mafuyu. Can you send some officers to the ADDC? Shono's in danger. Get him somewhere safe. Man, this shit's a pain in the ass. Tell me about it. I don't even yeah. know what's going on anymore. And keep an eye out for Kuroiwa. He's getting desperate. Okay, let's just keep watching. Let's keep watching. I'm kind of wondering, that asshole already here? What's going on? Where's Kuroiwa? Please, stop. It's okay, I'm a lawyer. Is Dr. Shono out of danger? Uh, we're not really sure of the situation ourselves. Well, then let me Didn't through. somebody tell you what's going on here? We've got orders coming in from all sides. I, I, I don't even know who is in charge here. <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> He's like, someone just told me to show up, and I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Um, I think it's time to fight. Oh, shit. Kuroiwa! You're Yagami, aren't you? Out of my way. Not so fast. We need to check your possessions. Lift your arms up now. Okay. And why is that, <laughs> officer? To protect Dr. Shono from thugs like you. Now do it! But an assassin the one going for Shono. just went up there? You can't let him get away with this! Why won't you listen to us? Kuroi was the one you want. 
He's got a gun. We're done here. Kaito-san, Kuroi was heading for the research wake. We can't let him reach Shono's lab. <clears throat> now let's go. <laughs> All right. If you say so. He's like, I've been waiting for this. Corner him. Looks like we're all getting arrested today, huh? <laughs> Yagami son, I'll see you in court. <laughs> Kuroiwa! Smug ass oh, motherfucking God. smile. We'll deal with him later. Oh. Oh. Mm. Okay, okay. Everybody gets a little spot in the limelight here and we got some intense music playing all right looks like there's only one way out of this guys let's go and this is one of the few one of the many 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 reasons that i love these games Hold on a second. We're taking a musical tour. Musical tour. Musical tour. Musical tour. Is that acoustic? Acoustic guitar? Spanish guitar? Yeah. Musical tour, musical tour. Stop screaming, guys. Oh, you have a gun? Fuck off. It's beautiful. Beautiful! Oh man, this song though, I, I really like it. Some good shit right here. How come there are like so many of these guys are holding guns, but they're just not using them? <laughs> what is. Have you guys even been trained like to use weapons? I don't. Is it just for show? Like, oh my god, I've never fired a gun before, not even in target practice. <laughs> There's more of them. All right, I think it's time for Yagami to go on ahead. Damn it. Leave this to us. You go. Just get a move on already. Sugi or two. Okay. The dream duo. Talk. Give that son of a bitch what for. Why is Sugira so lovable? Why are they all so lovable? So you want to fight, huh? I don't have time for this bullshit. Better make some time. <laughs>
I'm glad I have Sagira backing me up. Oh. oh god, he actually uses the gun. No way. I don't think so, buddy. I gotta heal, I gotta heal, I gotta heal, I gotta heal. Which way? Which way? Oh, I should grab this. Boom. And then throw it at the guy with the gun. Okay, we're catching up. There's nothing he won't do. Shit. Damn it! The door's not opening. It's locked. Locked? I hear the fucking investigation hmm. music right now. When I was here with Emichan. That's the research wing, where they develop all our new drugs. You can't get in without a gold key card, though. We need a gold key card. Let's find one. Security system activated. Three minutes to full lockdown. So we have three minutes. Wait, seriously? I gotta hurry. Okay. Oh, there's a cat. Fuck, fuck, fuck. We're looking for a gold one, right? Hmm. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Where are you? Wait, it's only in this tiny little area? There you are, you son of a bitch. Suspicious. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Hmm. This is just a regular key. Guess he doesn't have a key card. Oh, that looks pretty gold. Old key card. And the cat. Perfect. Sorry, buddy. I need to borrow this for a bit. I found one. We can get through the gate. Look on the skyway. <gasps> Murdering them. Oh we my put an end God. Jeez. Karoiwa. Oh. Shit. Wait. This guy is sick. What are we going to do? Toying with us. Uh, hey, you okay, man? We're gonna need another way in. What about the underground parking lot? The same way we got in before. Good idea, Yagami-san. That'll get us into the hospital. 
We can get to the research wing from there. Especially now that we have the key card. That might work. Then we've got to try. We can't let Kuroiwa get away with this. Damn right. <sighs> like, he could have just shot. He's had so many opportunities to just shoot us in the face. Like, right there. Why didn't he just shoot us? Because he's enjoying you. this. Detective. Well, it's not You're, good to uh, see you. Ashiko, right? Oh, shit. You again. Just keep drawing the short straw, huh? Don't give me your snark, punk. You're done for! Yeah, okay. You're no Saito. So I'm not afraid of you. Oh god. Guns. Any more guns? Yep. Let's eat. Eat food. Eat food. Oh god, there's still... Ugh, I thought we were done with them. Can you get... Look, can you take out the guy with the gun, Sugira, please, or something? I don't know how long I can keep doing this, but we can't stop. Not now. Oh no, Yagami, Yagami -san. is not What's good wrong? after that fall. <sighs> you get concussed? Just a little dizzy. No surprise there. Are you okay, Yagami san? You're uh keep kind of bleeding a lot. Don't know. I'm not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel just yet, though. <laughs> Maybe you're better than you look. Come on, let's go. I don't know. 
Seems pretty bad right now. All right. We probably should be getting medical attention right now. But this is not... This is not the time. I did it. Nobody's gonna believe me. Mm, poor guy. Okubo was definitely just very unlucky that day. Ugh. I'm looking so hot, man. Yeah, you sound like a robot. Hey, Yagami. You're never gonna last if you keep taking cases like this. Criminal suits are a constant test of your conviction. Your sense of justice. They don't even pay that well. Look, just chill out, okay? Take it from me. I've been around the block way longer than you have. Take us to the research room. is the one who will suffer for it? If he's really not guilty, he won't have to. I'll win. But to be perfectly honest, this is my first criminal case. What? Civil cases have been a mixed bag for me, too. I've actually lost more than I've won. Is that so? Apparently, a smart lawyer would never even consider an innocent plea in this case. Guess it's a good thing that I'm not so smart then, because I honestly believe I can win. Please, Yagami-san. You need to help Okubukun. And my brother trying. too. <laughs> He's stubborn, but he means well. I'm trying. Yagami-san. Just now, I... I heard Emmy talking to me. You too? It felt too real to just be my imagination. Did you notice anything? Oh, we're both losing it, okay. I can tell you all about it later. We've got work to do. Huh? It's time we stop Kuroiwa once and for all. Right. Huh. Whatever that fog over you was, looks like it's cleared. Is it raining? Huh. When did it start raining? Oh, gosh, I'm getting like a very not good feeling right now. Use the key card. You know, the gold one.
What happened? Man, it's so eerily quiet. This is where Shono is, right? If he hasn't been evacuated. His laboratory is just down this hallway. Meaning, Kuroi was waiting for us. Probably. Sugira, go back. Yeah, I got me son. Shono. Oh God. You just can't help but get in my way. Huh, Yakami? Put the gun down. Getting revenge isn't gonna do you any good. You should recognize it's all over by now. Revenge? <laughs> That's not what I'm here for. This rat comes with me. What? <laughs> Drop it! <laughs> No, 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 no. I think he got me. You'll be fine. Sukira. Just hang in there. I'll make sure you get some help. And what about you? Me and Kuroi were gonna settle this once and for all. <laughs> That's fine. Don't try and rush, just... Hit him once for me. Yakami son. I will. We're here to rescue you, Shono. Not that I want to. Take care of him, okay? Yes, I can do that. Please, show no. Give it up. You're finished, Kuroiwa. You're wrong. This isn't the end! What do you mean? I have 89! As long as it exists, I will never surrender. Explain yourself. You told me that you were gonna keep Shono alive. Yeah. Shono and I... We're going to finish 89 together. I assure you, he wants the same thing. That's how we'll be saved. Both of us. You really so sure you can accomplish that? Yeah, I'm sure of it! I'll show you. <laughs> Just you wait. We're going to finish. No matter how many test subjects it takes us to complete it. As long as we complete the cure, Shono and I will be praised as heroes. Really, You're dude? You're insane. <laughs> in that case, you can be our first subject in a long while. And when you die, which of course you will, I'll gouge out your eyes! Here we go again. Ha! 
And I'm sure he's gonna be a lot tougher than before. <laughs> oh god, okay. Alright. For Sugiura. For Shintani. For Hashiki. For all the Kyorei. Let's do Thunder Strike Extract to gain stun immunity and the power to break through enemies' guards and attacks. Lightning is a nice added effect as well. Oh shit, he trying to throw us out the damn window! Ah! <laughs> what? Not as scary as me, motherfucker. Not as scary as me. Yeah, you are. what happened when did that happen you're supposed to be helping Sugiura Up with the D virus. <laughs> what? But I'd be merciful. Okay, we're not done. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh god. 
should not have picked that chair up. That was a bad... Oh god, bad idea. Ow. Running out of bentos. Okay. Let's see. What other fun things do we have? What's this one? Die hard. Oh, that's a full heal. Oh, that might be useful. Okay, so we have those. Um. Let's keep with the thunder strike. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god. Stop! I'm panicking! <laughs> panicking! I'm panicking! When does it go into effect? Let's eat some sandwiches. Wait. What? How does this extract work? It didn't heal me. I don't understand. It's a safety when I die. Oh. I don't plan on dying. That's not part of the plan. I might have different ideas though. Ah! Shit, we still got a long ways to go here. let my health get like himself with 89 like i'm so confused what just happened was he using an extract maybe so lost Let's finish this up! 
I still have I still have healing items. I still have all my med kits. <sighs> Almost forgot about those. Oh damn, okay, there we go. Alright, and stay down! Talk some sense to Look who beat went some and made a new sense into them. They uh, agreed not to put us behind bars, at least for now. But we're gonna need a lawyer, though. Just telling him to stop's not gonna do shit. <laughs> True. Oh, no. Fuck. For them anymore. Huh? What's that? This? It's a dose of AD9. See, I finally did it. What are you doing? AD9 is done now. Everything I have has gone into this one syringe. That is a... There's no mistaking it this time. It's all in that one syringe. Here's the proof. That's... that's the only... I'm you don't have any backups? You once and for all. No. I'll prove that my miracle drug is a reality! How many people has your miracle killed? People. People? But it'll save millions, maybe tens of millions across the world. That's why you thought it was okay to murder an innocent woman? Huh? Is that why you stabbed her to death and burned the evidence? Okabo-kun took the fall for all of it. You sent a good man to die! I never wanted to kill anyone. But it had to happen for 89. It was the only way to save all of them! The toxin is irremovable. Use of 89 will always result in death. Shono-kun told me as much. Countless human experiments led him to that conclusion. In other words, AD9's development has failed. But Shonokun didn't want to admit that. He couldn't say that it was over, that he had killed several people, that it was all for naught. 
And when exactly did Shono-san tell you all this? Only the other day. That's not correct. It was after hearing that that I decided to testify in this trial. He's lying, right? He he learned Save about it. The world. That's your bullshit excuse, huh? I don't buy it. The reason you murdered Amichan was so you could save your own skin. If you really cared about helping people, you would have left your research to someone else instead of resorting to murder. But 89 is my drug. I'm the only one who could have finished it. And now I'll finally prove it. Prove that all my research was worth the effort. Prove that I was right to do what I did. Wait! For the longest time, my mother cared for both of my dementia-ridden grandparents. Once the disease had finally mercifully taken them, my mother died too. So you see, Alzheimer's has taken many loved ones away, even from me. <clears throat> but now, it won't be taking anyone else ever again. My entire career as a researcher, all the time I spent developing AD9, every single minute of it has led to this moment. But I. Uh... You dumb asshole. But why? Imagine if Sugira so forgot to why. forgot to hit record. When a patient is injected with AD9, they experience intense pain localized to the head, and their eyes become filled with a dark blue pigment. What? In the end, it's a gruesome death. As for the eyes, the toxins present in AD9 are what turns them blue. Shonokun admitted as much. Had that been noticed, it would have been clear proof of the experiments. That's why. And hence, they took out the eyes. Every single corpse discovered in Kamarocho was found with the eyes removed. Shonokun disposed of them, all in an effort to hide the horrible truth of his failure. Ten days later. I can't thank you enough, Yagami Sensei. Next week, huh? That's soon. It'll be nice to be out after all these years. Yay. The, uh, the retrial for Emmy's case is coming up. Well, that'll be more of a formality than anything. And don't worry. Nobody believes you killed Emichan anymore. Right. <laughs> You're already taking off? Actually, uh... I brought someone else who wants to talk to you today. Huh? Fumia. Kung.
You can take it from here. <laughs> You're welcome to stick around, you know? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Thanks for this. Yagami-san. I really thought I I was I was getting death flags for Su uh Sugira. I was like <sighs> I'm happy. <laughs> so Shono and Kuroiwa are both dead, huh? Yeah. And did you know say and Morita are behind bars? Good. Thanks to Yagami's agency? Yes. Things may be somewhat hectic from now on though. The health ministry is in turmoil, as is the ADDC. Yes, the center will likely be shut down. In the end, I suppose things worked out for Kajahira. That's unacceptable. Well, you're in luck, Saurikun. Sounds like they're investigating his collusion with Minister Kazumi. The police are already on the case. Everyone tries, but you can't escape the law. I suppose all bad deeds will come to light eventually. Yeah, you got that right. Oh, and speaking of... Yes? I'm no senile old fool. Your little <laughs> fling is clear as day. Huh? I'll have none of that in my office. Is that clear? Oh, uh, <laughs> I had no idea, sir. There's nothing to be afraid of. Well, you kids are all the same. Never listen to an old <laughs> fart like me. Though it's not like we're any better, huh? <laughs> Always ignoring our elders. Right? Old friend. mind you going back. I mean, back to being an attorney again. It's not like we got work coming in. Maybe I could find a job at another agency or something. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not gonna abandon our business like that, man. But this is your chance to be an upstanding citizen again. Come on, man. You know how much of a gaping shithole this city is. Only a dumbass would be a detective here. Well, thank you very much. Kaito sounds right, though, you know? I mean, just think about it. People would line up just to have you represent them. It shouldn't even be a question. You think so? Of course I think so. <laughs> Genda Sensei would love to have you back at his office. And, um, I'm sure Matsugane-san would agree with him. Yep. She's right, man. Everything's led up to this point. It's like your story circling back around. There's this fancy French word. Uh, starts with a D. This is your... Your denouement? That's it! Would you two give it a rest? I don't know what that <sighs> is. I quit. I'm not a lawyer anymore. I'm a detective. But funny enough, if I hadn't left Gendas, I never would have proven Okobo-kun innocent. Well, yes, I suppose that's true. Pretty damn ironic. It's been three years now since I abandoned the truth and left my job as a lawyer. But it turned out that decision led me straight to the truth I tried to run away from. Mm. Guess it goes to show you never know where your choices will take you. It's destiny. That's what you guys were saying just now, right? So, no matter what decisions you might make, what comes after matters most. The real important takeaway from all this is to never give up. I guess. By the way. Hmm? What is it? I was just thinking about how I looked in that suit. I didn't really pull it off, did I? <sighs> yeah, I knew it. Yeah, not that really. It. I'm never wearing a suit again. No way, no how. Just do your hair up. Hey, you know. Now that's another plus of staying a detective. Seriously? This is Yagami. Hello? 
Yagami Detective Agency. Huh? Your cat ran away and it still hasn't come home? <laughs> what do you think this is, lady? A pet shop? Oh, yeah? We'll do it. Ask her some more about the cat. But Yagami, Yagami loves cats. Chaco. And she's five? <sighs> Just send us a picture, yeah? All right, time to get some catnip at Don Quixote. Kaito-san. Hmm. This is our first job in a while. Now let's go find that lady's cat. <laughs> What an epic, epic conclusion to this game. It's been a long time since this game came out and I've been wanting to play it ever since I knew about it, ever since I've been starting playing the Yakuza games and I'm glad I finally got a chance to do so. We got to meet Yagami. He is an amazing protagonist. I really, really enjoyed his seriousness but also his snarkiness his playfulness how he plays off of kaito kaito is also amazing and i know i've mentioned many times but the cast of characters in this game have been phenomenal possibly my favorite in any of these games with everybody that's been in it i don't have to name them off again they've all been great i thought the combat was a lot of fun yagami had some really cool moves um, he had the two different styles made for different purposes and different things you could do within those, the crane and the tiger. We had the tiger drop, we had that flux move which was really cool, but really all I care about is tiger drop. Uh, to be completely honest, uh, just give me tiger drop and I will be happy. Kuroiwa. Kuroiwa was an amazing villain. He has got to be my favorite villain in these games. They built him up to be somebody extremely scary, very intimidating before we even knew who he was. It was this guy in a raincoat who could carry out these very brutal murders and with such professionalism without like being able to be found out, nobody could track him. And then finding out about the, um, oh, what was his name? Yeah, using my notes for one last time. Uh, the Hashiki murder where he beat him up until he was nearly dead, but enough to keep him alive in a coma until he finally did pass away like two weeks later and without really bringing attention to it, like they were saying, that takes skill to do. He, he just, he was so... Creep, like Matt Mercer did a really good job as he always does, but that guy just, he just gave me the creeps in the best possible way. It was like, he's so gross and I just love it because he's just such an evil character and, and he's just a great villain. The sub stories, the side cases, the side cases in this were really excellent. Some of my favorite in the series has definitely been in here. The Twisted Trio, of course, were amazing. We had the return of Onomichio. There were just so many others I could name so many. And the friendships were really fun, especially the way that everything kind of came together towards the end with different characters from different side cases coming together and interacting and I thought that was really neat how they were all intertwined and how there was a buildup of you get you meet this person here and then you are able to do something with that person and then they come together and um, you get this ability from this person which enables you to find a cat and then you know then your drone has the ability to shoot guns or whatever it was really cool. Oh, also, cats. A big focus on cats in this game. As a cat lover, I definitely approve. Oh, and speaking of approve, I definitely approve of Saudi and how amazingly sexy she is. The girls in this game, Saudi, Mafuyu, top notch, top notch girls. And I can't wait to see more of them and everybody else in Lost Judgment. The next RGG game that we're going to probably be playing is 
Yakuza 7 like a dragon unless I do Gaiden first, but definitely we're doing like a dragon before Lost Judgment. So I hope you guys will stick around to see those because those are coming up in the coming months. And this, it, this has been fun. It's always fun to hang out with you guys with these games. And thank you so much for being here. I really hope you enjoyed this series as much as you've enjoyed all the other Yakuza games that we've been playing together. And if you're new here, maybe check out all the other Yakuza games that I've played. Please leave a comment on uh, what you thought about the series and what you thought about this game and what you're excited for and um, just yeah anything. I love to hear from you guys. I'll see you guys in the next series. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching as always. Bye bye.